Alright, welcome back to our third video, people. I hope you enjoyed the last two videos. And before we get started, I would like to say something. Um, I've been asking people for small donations, like I said, a little bit for us to survive here, but also if I get enough um, so I can help a few people. And I'm, I'm happy to say that yesterday, a dear friend of mine, a local person, I'm not going to say his name, uh, but uh, he's a little tight right now and having a little bit of trouble. A lot of his friends have already gone uh, home to, uh, to the islands where they're from and he's really trying to stay here so I could. Um, so with your help, with the people who donated, I, uh, I was able to help him a little bit already. Um, so that's great and I hope I will be able, we will be able to help more people in the, uh, in the near future in this, in this situation that we're all in. So thank you very much and uh, please people, uh, keep it up. So for today, the third workout, we are going to do a legs, booty and core workout. Uh, a lot of ladies love that, but also for the boys, you can join this. Uh, it's good for your legs, all your booty and your core, obviously. Uh, I did this workout with Darina uh, about a week ago. Um, we did it for my sister, who is Dutch as I am, so we did it in Dutch, so we're just going to do it again. Um, however, two parts of the workout, I will be using uh, the Tabitha system, so which means it's an interval. We're working for 20 seconds, we've got 20 sec uh, 10 seconds break. On Spotify or wherever, um, there are a lot of playlists with Tabitha, which means you turn on the music and the music tells you uh, when to start and when to stop. So if you want to use that music, you can use it. However, for the video we're making, I'm uploading it to YouTube. Um, those songs are copyrighted, so I ran into a little copyright issue. So what we're going to do today, I'm just going to play some, uh, play some music in the background, and I will be using a timer for 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Yes, but if you would like to do it with the music, find something on Spotify, uh, Tabata workout uh, music. There's a lots of them. There's really some nice songs on there, and you can turn us down, or you can sync it, or you can just look at the workout and do it on your own music later, whatever you prefer. So, that out of the way, we are going to start with a warm-up, a very simple warm-up. We are going to do 50 butt kicks, so get your heels up to your butt 50 times. Then we're going to go for 50 high knees. Then we are going to go for 50 jumping jacks. Once you have done that, you do it all again. Yeah, we're just going to get started. We'll probably be about the same pace. If you're a little bit faster or slower, no problem. You can, you can pause, or if you're, if you're done faster, you can just wait till we're done. If we're not done yet, you can pause it or rewind it a little bit later. You should be fine. I'm going to turn on some music and then we will get started together. Alright, getting ready for butt kicks. We are starting in 3, 2, let's go! And that'll be 50 for me, going for high knees, as high as my hips, side the core while you're doing those high knees, keep it strong, you don't have to be upright, you can crouch down a little bit, squeeze those abs, and get those knees as high as your hips. Now of course I forgot to count, so Darina, where are we at? 40. Oh, that's quick. She's going to tell us when to go jumping jacks. Let's go. These obviously take a little bit longer. Keep your knees slightly bent. Nice and wide, arms all the way up and down. Where are we at? That would be 40, so 10 more to go. And back to the butt kicks. Let's go. Chest up, proud posture. I'm not slouching down. I'm up here. Heels all the way up to my butt. And again, I lost count, so Darina's going to tell us when to go for the high knees. 
15, let's go. to loosen ourselves up a bit. We've done this before. First of all, we're going to hug ourselves. So arms out to the side, thumbs over. Open up that chest. Hug yourself. Back out. Hug yourself. Like I said, it's a legs, booty, and core workout. We don't really need the chest and everything, but we do need the shoulders and the arms because we're going to be planking in a few moves. So I want those shoulders nice and loose, mostly. Let's go. Big circles forward, two arms together. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're going backward in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Now what I'd like to do, we're going to do these, we're just going to bounce for, for 30 of these. I want to warm up my calves a little bit, because if not, for me they start hurting if I just go out of nowhere. So I'll do it like this. My knees can be slightly bent, yeah? Whatever you do, you don't want to have them locked where you're bouncing up and down. So from here, we're bouncing up and down. You can touch the floor with your heels, you do not have to. So you don't have to go super high and all the way down, just bouncing. So we're doing 30 together. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Nice and easy. All right. From here, I like to do this for Muay Thai mostly, but we're going to do it now. I'm going to get my knee up and I'm going to cross it in front of my body. My upper body is going to go the opposite direction and then we're going to switch. So starting with the right leg, we'll do ten in total. Three, two, let's go. So, one, and switch. Two, and switch. Three, keep your spine straight. We're going to do some four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, knee up, and we're going to turn it out, open up our hips. Let's just go. So open up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. All right, all right. From here, just a little stretch for the legs. Dorina will be facing you, I'll be facing this way. From here, my feet are about shoulder width, and I'm just going to hang down. From here, so my fingers touch the floor, or maybe you can't touch the floor, that's all right. If you can, just down here, push your butt back a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk forward, Place my palms on the floor. From here, push my chest towards my knees. I relax my head, and I want you to alternate, pushing your heels down. towards the floor, chest towards your knees a little bit extra, just feel that stretch, and from here I'm going to step my right foot next to my right hand forward, there, I'll maybe even pass a little bit, weight on my heels, so not on my toes, on my heels, and I'm just going to slightly bounce that hip up and down, 
right? And we're going to alternate. So put the other foot back and switch. Same thing, same bounce. Foot back, my feet are together. I'm walking back towards my feet again. From here, I'm hanging down for a few seconds, slightly bending my knees, and I'm gonna roll all the way up. All right. So the blood's flowing. We're getting a little bit warm. Our body is used to moving. We are starting with a time at the workout. There's no weights in there, so we should be fine. If you feel you want to do something more, a little bit more stretching, uh, pause us and please do so. If not, we'll be right back. I'm going to pause this a little bit, we're going to set up, and then we will start with the Tabitha workout. Okay, so getting started with the first part of this workout, we're doing a Tabitha uh, song, but there's no song like I explained before. However, we do have a timer, we're going to do 8 rounds of 20 seconds, and we've got a 10 second break in between everything. We've got 4 moves, so we do everything twice. It's just 20 seconds, so I want you to work really hard and go really fast, yes, this is a good... Uh, leg booty and core uh, Tabitha we're doing but it's also a cardio move alright so if you're creating all those muscles you want them to be tight you want to see those muscles not the fat that's over it yeah so we're trying to burn a little bit we are starting with jump lunges now uh, we might have done lunges before from here my legs are nice and wide my heel is on the floor I feel the weight on my heel not on my toes I go straight down there I feel my heel in the floor now if you've got a soft floor like us you can tap your knee on the floor, of course if you're at home, if you've got a wooden floor or something more solid, be careful, don't hurt yourself. Just because they are jump lunges, just because we are jumping does not mean you have to go fast. When you go down, take your time, control your core, and then the switch is in a jump, of course. So from here we're going to do four in three, two, one, so up, down, pum, 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 that's it. So if you're here and you feel your knees are wobbly, you're not tightening your core, or you might be going too fast so you cannot keep your balance. That's move number one. Move number two, jump squats. I'm here, my feet are about as wide as my shoulders. I'll push my butt back, my chest front. I want the weight on my heels, not on my toes. I'm going here about 90 degrees. That's it. Don't sit all the way down. This is enough. From here, get off the floor. Up, down. Up, push your butt back, chest front. One more. That's it. So we do 20 seconds of those. Then, you're going to get down on your hands and knees. So from here, we're going here, please put your shoulders, bring your shoulders either on top of your hands or past your hands, but not here because then you're pushing yourself away. Alright, so keep them here, tightening my core, we're going to do mountain climbers, so my knees running them into my chest, up there, don't get your butt up, keep your butt low, and then for the last one, you've got 10 seconds break obviously, then for the last one we're going to jump our feet in between our hands and back into plank, so in and out from here. Three, two, one. So in, out, in, out, in, out. One more. Stop. All right. Those four moves. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'm going to turn up the music. I'm going to turn on the timer. We're going to all get started. Try to work hard. Starting in five seconds, jump lunges. I'll go sideways, arena is facing you. Two, one, let's go. Don't push your knee past your feet. Keep control of your core. You're just jump switching, you don't have to go all the way up. Just enough space to switch. Five seconds, four, three, and stop. 10 seconds break, then we're going into the jump squats. About 90 degrees in your legs, and I want you to jump up high. Yes, two, one, let's go. Butt back, chest front. Try to get my head out the camera, out the image. I can't jump that high. Butt back, chest front, come on. Five seconds. And stop. Ten seconds break, seconds break. Get on the floor, mountain climbers. Run, no jog. Two, one, let's go. 
Keep your shoulders past your hands. Don't push yourself back. Stay here. Hips nice and low. Your knees are almost touching the floor. Eight seconds left. Five seconds, jumping in. Three, two, one, let's go. In and out. Back into a straight plank. Not here, on the plank. And also not here. Eight seconds. One, and up. Woo. All those moves, one more time. Starting with the lunges in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep control of that core. Keep it up, 10 seconds. Five. And break. Woo, the ring stopped a little bit too early there. Go ahead into jump squats. Keep it right, keep it going. We just got three exercises. Two, one, let's go. Butt back, chest front, weight on your heels. Come on, five seconds. Stop it there, get down on the floor. Mountain climbers up next. Let's go. High pace. Keep running. Halfway, 10 seconds. Almost there, three, two, one, and stop. Woo. Jumping in and out next. Starting in five. Last one, four, three, two, one, let's go. Eight seconds. And stop. Woo. Breathe for a little bit. the very first part. We are going to grab us some chairs. We've got a few exercises in between. Not high rate, we're working on those muscles a little bit. And then we're going to come back and finish with another Tabata set. Have a drink if you want, wipe off that sweat and find your chair. Okay, so if you did all our videos or if you did our last video, these exercises will be pretty familiar. Yeah, we are going to do a single leg squat. So one leg is on the chair, the other leg is in front. I will tell you how to do it. And then we're going to do the hip thrusts. Last time we did them on the chair. Now we are going to do single leg hip, leg hip thrusts on the floor with the other leg straight up in the air. And I'll show you how to do that. First of all, I'll show you these again, just in case you didn't follow the video. So one leg is on. You do two. One leg, I'll jump out a little bit. And now from here, I don't want to be right over my foot. I want to bring my weight back here. So my, uh, my leg is diagonal right now, okay? So when I go down, weight on my heel, I go down. My knee does not come past my foot, so I don't go here. I go here and up. Take my time down, up. Yeah, so we're going to go down a little bit slower. We'll do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, or 10 on the left, then 10 on the right, up to you, whatever leg you want to start with. Then, we're going to get down on the floor. My butt will be facing you. Dorina will be doing it sideways. So from here, I want your heels in the floor, right? I don't want you pushing from your toes. So heels on the floor, I'm lying down, my shoulder blades. So like I said, single leg. So I'm going to get up first. This does not count as a rep. My hips are up. And now get your hips a little bit higher, so you want to feel your butt and your back tensing up. Weight on my heels. Now one leg is going to come up into the air, straight up. Keep it there. 
You're going to come take your time down and up. Take your time down, up. Take your time down, up. That's it. Those are the two moves we are doing. We're doing 10 of everything. So 10 right, 10 left on the chair. 10 right, 10 left on the floor. We will do three sets of those. So we are going to start. Make some space. Make you, maybe you want to push your coffee table aside. And let's go. I'll turn the music up slightly. If you don't like the music, I'm sorry. Like I said, copyright. So I needed to find a playlist I can play on YouTube. I'll turn it back a little bit. All right, from here, my foot out, foot on the floor. Step it forward through 10 times in three, two, let's go. So down, up, weight on your heels, two, and three. Look at my body, upright, four, so I'm not here. Five, I'm not forward either. Six, I stay here, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Not that tough. Switch legs from here. My right one is a little bit hard for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's just this. Bring my weight back. Three, two, let's go. So down. One, two, see that was my balance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, get on the floor. Quick tip in between when you're doing lunges, single leg squats, but they look like lunges or the lunges before. You want to go down, not forward. That's a common mistake. All right. I will start with my left leg on the floor. Hips up first. Arms are out. I just like them there. Feet up, foot up, sorry. Ten times. Three, two, let's go. So down. One, yeah. two, go a little bit faster. Three, push high. Forward, push from your heel. Five, you're almost pushing yourself back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay up, put your other foot down, other foot up, starting in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and down. Ooh. Getting back to the chair, round number two. Get your leg out, up, bring that weight back. All right, let's go three, two, one. And one, two, three. Down a little bit slower. Four, five, six, keep your weight back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Switch, opposite leg. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and off. Back down on the floor. First leg, oh sorry, get your hips off the floor first, weight on your heels, leg up, ten times in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, push yourself back even, eight over your shoulders, nine, Ten, switch your legs, stay your butt up. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Alright, alright, last set. Let's go. Get back on your first leg. Not too big of a break. We're gonna keep pressure on those legs. Three, two, let's go. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Woo! I felt that one last set. That was a good moment to feel it. Opposite leg. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Push from your heels. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Woo. Down to the floor, last one. I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. It's not really in the way, but it's just a mental thing. Ready? Hips up first. Oh, we don't know what to do. Leg up. Three, two, let's go. Up. Two, three, four. Push from your heels. Five, six, a little bit higher. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And keep your hips up. Ooh, almost put them down. Switch, starting in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Woo. Roll up. Nice, you felt that one a little bit. Shake it off. Again, you want to towel off, get the sweat off. You want to have a little drink, have a little drink. We're coming back to a Tabitha workout. This one is high in cardio. So if you need a little bit, get ready. Because you want to go hard in the last one. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to enter the last part of today's session. Today is a little bit shorter, a little bit faster. Some people like to work out an hour, some people a little bit shorter, so this is a little bit shorter one. Um, our last Tabitha set. So we're doing the same thing, we've got four moves, we're going to do it twice. Everything is 20 seconds long, we've got 10 second break. We are starting with some knees, yes? Maybe some of you remember Billy Blanks, if you're old, as old as me. Uh, tai Bo, the original creator of Tai Bo. It was very nice, it was on music, we're not going to do it on music, but this move is from there. So what I'm going to do, I am going to face 45 degrees that way. Obviously. If you're watching this, you can just face the camera. I just like this to face that way. You're in my front, so I can do the other opposite side straight here. Now, I'm gonna reach up in the air like I'm holding a big fat watermelon. It's a watermelon because I wanna break it, because I don't want aerobics knees, no. I want some power in those knees. Bring it back, power again, and then you're gonna give me high pace. So we're gonna show you about 10. So three, two, let's go. Pa, 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 pa. And power down. Pa. And 10. All right, so we're going to do that for 20 seconds, which for a fast move is quite some time. Next up, opposite side. So I was here. I'm just going to turn that way, grab that watermelon again. I'm going to go for knees over there. We don't need to show you. It's obvious what we do there. Then you get sort of a rest exercise. We're going to get down on plank on our elbows and on our feet. You're going to bring your knees to your elbows. So from here, on my elbows, and from here, just take your time. In back, in, back, in. I want to show you this way real quick. I would like you to try, keep your hips centered. Ha. So try not to go that. Ha. Ha. Yes. If I don't move as much, my core is really working to keep me in that spot. That's what this exercise is for. If you move out of the way, it's a different thing. All right, so try not to do that. Then we are going to end with the hardest part. We are going to do some burpees. Now this is a leg booty and core exercise like I usually say in my class. If you want to do burpees here, you can do them into a plank. So Doreen is going to show us, she's going to jump down into a plank. So it means on her hands, back up. On her hands, back up. You can do original burpees, which means you get your body all the way down to the floor. You can do a push up or you can snake your way up. I don't like this one that much. You try to do a push up. Either one you do. When you get back up off your hands, you jump into your squat. So I'm not here, I'm here. Heels underneath me, chest front, butt back, and I go up from a squat. I do not go up from here. And I see a lot of people do burpees when they jump, they're here. Don't look at the floor. I want you to look straight at me, forward, even hands up or above your head if you can, yeah? So try not to keep your back arch, get all the way up, get a right exercise in. I'm gonna turn on the timer again, and like I said before, if you, you wanna do it to an actual Tabitha track, Get a Tabitha track for yourself. Get ready. 
We are starting in five seconds with the right knee for us. Grabbing that watermelon. Two, one, let's go. Ha, ha, ha. Power and speed. Ha. You're breaking new watermelon every time. Ha, 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 ha. Keep going a little bit faster, even. Ten seconds. Ha, ha, ha. Woo, Dorina's going faster than me. Five, three, two, one. And break. Woo. Opposite side coming up. Yeah, get that heart rate high, go fast, don't hold back. Three, two, one, let's go. Tighten that core, get it up there. You can get your chest down towards your knee a little bit as well. 10 seconds, we're halfway. Three, two, one. Woo. Down on your hands and knees. Breathe while you're doing this one. Take your time because the burpees are going to be hard. Two, one, let's go. Knee in, back. Knee in, back. Try to keep your hips nice and centered. Five seconds. Get ready for those burpees. Some people like to start with a little jump. I just like to go straight down. Two, one, let's go. All the way up, squat up. 10 seconds. Try not to slow down. And break. Breathe. Back to the right knee. Start to get five seconds already. Grab that watermelon. Two, one. Let's go. High pace again. Let's go. Come on. Ten seconds. Five. And no break. That was a little bit easy the first round, but after those burpees, this is a killer as well. Other leg in three, two, one, let's go. That's it, come on, power and speed, keep going. Eight seconds. Two, one. Down on the floor. On your elbows and feet. Bring your knees to your elbows. Let's go. Focus on your breathing. Five. Last round burpees. Whew. Why does the time go fast when you do something slow? Go slow when you do something fast. Two, one, let's finish strong, let's go. All right, all right. Take a breath, sit down, whatever. We'll work, be right back. We'll give you a little stretch from here. All right. Huh. Still catching your breath, probably. We're not going to stretch, stretch like in a traditional way. I just want to focus on a few areas. If you want to do more stretching, probably you know some. Watch my last video, we do a little bit more stretching there. Or find a stretching video by somebody else, support somebody else. All right, from here, I just want you, your feet about as wide as your shoulders, and we're just hanging down. So start there. Why don't you hanging down? So if you're hanging down right, 
and you're really tilting your hips there. So I'm not keeping that up. I'm tilting my hips, and you should feel it in the back of your legs there. I'm just slightly bouncing. Now from here, Doreen and I, yeah, on the hip thrust, we felt our lower back a little bit, so probably you did too. So what I want you to do, focus here on the middle of your lower back and push it up. So it lifts my hands off the floor and I get my hips underneath me. And now I try to hang down, but try to keep my hips underneath me. And you feel that here, you're stretching your lower back a little bit from there. From here, if you want to twist a little bit, a little bit to the, if I go to the left, I feel that right side of my lower back and it feels nice. And same thing, thing opposite side there and you can stay there for a while or you can go back and forth back and forth all up to you all right now from here real quick we are going to sit down yes take care of the butt a little bit my foot is on the floor my heel is on the floor i put my other ankle on top this knee is out this one i sit down now if i want to feel it more Either bring my butt closer to the heel that's on the floor or push my chest closer to those, to those legs. And make sure that knee is out. If it's in here, it's not working, make sure it's out. And take a few breaths. That foot that's in the air, yeah, I'm showing you my toes. Renata in Holland, I know you hate feet, so this is special for you. Hello. <laughs> Put that top foot, you're gonna bring it down to the floor. There, you're twisting into it. Now, I'm gonna straighten my spine, and I'm gonna twist my body the opposite direction. I can push with my arm here, or do it like this. A lot of yoga people do it like this. Here, or you can even grab it if you can't twist that far. This gets you a little bit further. Or reach with that arm behind you. And release. Now my foot that's up here, that's in, on the floor. That's the one I put in front of me on the floor again. Because now my other leg is up. You should be doing it opposite side now. And somehow, like I said in the last video, I feel my left butt cheek more. Yeah. <laughs> and so does Darina, like in the last video. <laughs> so apparently, something we do together works our left butt cheeks. Don't think dirty. Get the top foot down to the floor. Straighten your spine and turn your body back. And now how we get out of this move, don't look at me. Because when you do it, it feels elegant. When you actually see it, it does not. I'm going to bring my weight to that foot that's on the floor. I'm going to push and I'm going to stand up with a turn. So from here. Ooh, I twist it. <laughs> Looks beautiful, doesn't it? All right, all right. Um, so, back to my end talk. I do this after every move, every video we make. Um, it's not the point, but it's one of the points of making these videos. The point, of course, is having people back home. Everybody be able to work out and fit and show you how you can work out with uh, little resources. Tomorrow! Or the day after. I'm sorry, I'm going to have one day in between every video because I don't want to bother you guys. And if you want to work out tomorrow, you can come back to this one or one of the ones before. The first video was more cardio hit and the second video was more strength. So up to you what you're going to come back to. We are going to record it tomorrow. I'm going to send it to, to you guys the day after tomorrow on YouTube, of course. I am going to be working with the bands. Yeah, so big rubber bands. And I'll have Darina do the same workout pretty much. But she is going to use a backpack and we're going to put filled up water bottles in there. Yeah, so to have some weight. It'll be slightly different, but it's just to show you guys how you can do that at home. There. Um, if you have any requests, if you want a certain type of workout, if you want to know what to do, if you have something at home you want to do something with for a workout, obviously, ask me, reach out, um, and maybe I'll make a workout for that. If anybody wants a private session, of course, we can do that via... via I don't know, Facebook we can call, or, or WhatsApp, or uh, maybe even Skype. We can do that. And of course, if you like the workout, I would very much appreciate, of course, a like on the video, but I would appreciate it if you share it. Some people have shared our videos already, and it's great, and just the more people we can reach. Um, so like I've been telling you the last past few videos, 
Uh, I'm also doing this to try and raise some money um, for ourselves, obviously, to survive. A few people, ha people have already donated some money, which is great, and it's uh, honestly, uh, from the individuals, it's more than I could hope of. Um, every little bit helps, so you can just, I don't know, 50 cent helps, whatever. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I like to help other people, and I already did, so I want to try to keep doing that with your help so I can reach out to other people as well. Um, I told you about the ways you can, uh, you can donate. Uh, obviously, I told you before about the PayPal. Um, there's a link if you're on your computer or a laptop. There's a link in the banner on the YouTube channel. It says donate to this channel, something like that. Um, that's easy, it directs you straight into the PayPal and you can do it there. Um, if you wanna do it on your phone via PayPal, you can just type in your browser paypal.me slash Mick Blakeroda. Yeah, there was a picture in your frame just now, you got it there. If you are from a, if you can't do it on PayPal, and you are from one of the countries, I posted them in the description, you can find it there. Um, you can send it on your bank. Probably we have something uh, in your country or something close to you, so you can do it there. And last but not least, I forgot these this in the last videos, I have a Bitcoin wallet, what's it called? Anyway, you can uh, transfer Bitcoins or any uh, uh, cryptocurrency to me if you would like to do it that oh. way. Yes. Thank you people. If you like this, please share. Make sure uh, many people see this video so everybody gets to work out and maybe we get to help uh, a lot of people here. Stay safe, um, stay inside or away from people at least. And good luck everybody wherever you are at.